हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैपिटल इश्यूज बाय कंपनीज फ्रेंड्स वेन एवर ए कंपनी वांट्स टू इस्टैब्लिश सम प्रोजेक्ट दे नीड लॉट ऑफ कैपिटल दिस कैपिटल कैन बी इक्विटी कैपिटल और डेट कैपिटल डेट कैपिटल मींस लोन कैपिटल the focus of our lecture here will be the equity capital now equity capital so equity capital is raised from public or it is contributed by the promoters or it may be contributed by the institutions so equity capital can be contributed by different groups of persons or entities so this equity capital issue can be covered in five different types so five different types are number 1 it can be a public issue number 2 it can be rights issue number 3 it can be composite issue it can be a bonus issue it can be private placement public issue it can be initial public offer that is ipo or it could be further public offer that is fbo similarly private placement can be preferential issue or it can be qualified institutional placement or it could be institutional placement program so equity capital issue can be in different five forms and public issue it has two variants and private placement it has three variants now we shall discuss the features of these one by one so we start with public issue what is a public issue friend public issue is an offer of shares or convertible securities which is made to prospective shareholders new shareholders so offer of shares or convertible securities convertible securities means the securities which will be converted into equity shares after a given time period so when this offer is made to new shareholders that is called public issue so the public issue can be an initial public offer or it can be a further public offer so first initial public offer initial public offer is done by an unlisted company when a company is not listed on the stock exchange it is called unlisted company when this company makes fresh issue of shares and securities to new shareholders this is called initial public offer by way of initial public offer the company gets its stocks its shares listed on a stock exchange so ipo leads to listing of shares of the company on a stock exchange and once these shares are listed then there can be sale and purchase of these shares on stock exchange so trading of shares on stock exchange on the other hand what is further public offer further public offer is made by a listed company a company is already listed so it makes further public offer in further public offer they make fresh issue of shares or convertible securities so initial public offer is made by an unlisted company but fpo is made by already listed company so in this case the promoter can also offer sale to public of shares now what is rights issue 
फ्रेंड राइट्स इश्यू इज एन ऑफर ऑफ शेयर और कन्वर्टेबल सिक्योरिटीज एंड दिस ऑफर इज मेड टू एग्जिस्टिंग शेयर होल्डर्स सो इनिशियल पब्लिक ऑफर इज मेड टू न्यू शेयर न्यू शेयर होल्डर्स बट राइट्स इश्यू इज एन ऑफर विच इज मेड टू एग्जिस्टिंग शेयर होल्डर्स एंड दोज शेयर होल्डर्स हूज नेम अपियर्स इन द बुक्स ऑफ द कंपनी ऑन ए पर्टिकुलर डेट विच इज कॉल्ड रिकॉर्ड डेट सो इफ ए कंपनी वॉन्ट्स टू गो फॉर फ्रेश इश्यू ऑफ शेयर एंड इफ दैट ऑफर इज मेड ओनली टू एग्जिस्टिंग शेयर होल्डर्स देन इट इज कॉल्ड राइट्स इश्यू राइट्स इश्यू इज ऑफर्ड इन ए पर्टिकुलर रेशो सो दीज एग्जिस्टिंग शेयर होल्डर्स आर ऑफर्ड न्यू शेयर इन ए पर्टिकुलर रेशो and this ratio is determined with reference to number of shares already held by a shareholder on the record date now what is composite issue composite issue means an issue of shares or convertible securities to existing shareholders on a record date and to the public so this offer is not made to existing shareholders alone this offer is made to public also so when is when offer is made to existing shareholders only it is rights issue when offer is made to existing shareholders as well as on to public it becomes a composite issue now bonus issue bonus issue means already listed company makes a fresh issue of shares not by getting cash from the shareholders so these shares are issued without any cash consideration so existing shareholders are allotted are issued more shares without getting anything from them and this is done in a particular ratio so when existing shareholders are allotted fresh shares new shares without any consideration then that is called bonus issue bonus issue is funded by what so bonus issue is funded out of free reserves or share premium account so a company may be having free reserves or share premium reserve so out of those reserves they issue new shares so that type of issue is called bonus issue so bonus issue can also be called as capitalization of reserves or conversion of capital into reserves so a company is having free reserves or share premium so they convert this free reserve into new equity capital so that is bonus issue now the last one is private placement private placement is an offer of shares and convertible debentures to a particular group of investors so instead of offering the shares to shareholders at large in a large or to public so when this offer is made only to a particular group of investors it becomes private placement so this private placement is neither a public issue nor a rights issue nor a bonus issue and private placement it has three variants so first one is preferential allotment this is done by a listed company and this offer is made to select group of investors so company on private basis makes offer of new shares to a select group of investors and it is a listed company so this is called preferential allotment then there can be qualified institutional placement so this is done again by a listed company only here offer is made to qualified institutional buyers 
So here this group may be different. Here this group is qualified institutional buyers. And these qualified institutional buyers may include banks also, mutual funds also, financial institutions etc. And then institutional placement program. Under institutional placement program, it is further public offer or offer for sale of equity by promoters of listed issuers only to qualified institutional buyers. So these are various forms of issue of capital. Well friends, thank you for watching this video. I am sure the contents of the video will benefit you. Thank you once again.